Tonight we're going to look at one of my favorite uh, and most memorable G1 uh, figures. This is G1 Scattershot. Um, I have never had the entire set to make Computron. I probably never will bother having the whole set to make Computron. Um, this is the one I've always ever had. and I've never had any of the accessories. I might have had the... There's a head that goes on here for the combined mode. I might have had that at one point, but I don't anymore. Um, surprisingly articulated for a G1 figure. So, you know, you've got his, his arms go like this. He's got these weird in and out elbows, uh, mostly due to transformation. Um, the head doesn't move. He does have a waist rotation. Uh, he has pretty good leg articulation. Uh, and he has a knee bend, again, due to the combined mode transformation. And it has uh, more than 90 degrees of bend. Which is pretty cool for a G1. You know, he's not quite a brick. Um, he does come with a, a rather odd play feature for even a G1. I mean, I know the 80s were weird and all, but uh, he, he does have this, this front cannon. Um, and it, you press this button here, and that folds out and the cannon pops out. So... You know, he can, he can, you know, he's more of a grower than a shower. But, you know, hey, whatever, you know, G1, they did weird things back then, so and this will be no different. Um, I, one of the things I've always really liked is that um, he also has on his left arm this little cannon here, which I always thought was pretty cool. Now, this one I got at TFCon. Um, it was in a junk bin. I think I paid five bucks for him, which for me, that's, I just, I had to have him. Um, the only thing I really can find wrong with him, the stickers are jacked, but I did have to take this cannon apart, uh, because when you press the button, it didn't want to pop open. So I had to take it apart and clean it out. And it really wasn't anything bad. It's just sometimes the springs, all the internals of this are plastic except for two small springs. And those small springs over time there was kind of a dusting of rust inside of the entire figure, maybe a little bit of dirt over the years. So I opened this up, a um, couple screws back here, and this whole thing comes apart, and then cleaned him out real good, and now, uh, you know, at push of a button, he is good to go. He just, he just needed uh, a little clean out. So that was pretty good. So, uh, other things to note on him. Uh, for some reason, his Autobot symbol's on the back, and I, I just don't understand why. Um, I guess... I mean, the sticker could be in the wrong place, because it was a long time since I've had this guy. Uh, but I like that they even added these little details to the back in the front. Uh, transformation. I'm actually going to do on camera, because it's super easy. Um, all you do is kind of fold this down, pop his head in, flip his chest up. Uh, rotate this this way. You want to rotate this so that this lines up with the Autobot symbol. Fold that one in there. Fold out these wings on his legs. Fold that back over. Pull that back up. And there you go. This part's a little loose. Uh, and he's got his little guns here. His gimmick still works. Um, he also has landing gear on the front and if you look on the edge of the wheels or on the edge of the wings there's wheels as well so um he can actually roll like this which is pretty cool too not that he needs to do it i mean he's an airplane but at least you can display him like this if you want he's pretty stable though because of this flat here so if you want to display him in vehicle mode you can pretty much get him to stand up this table isn't exactly level. So you can get him to stand up that way. Um, he is one of the Scramble City combiners. So any G1 combiners that you have, uh, arms and legs, will fit. If you've got legs, you know, if you've got ones that kind of don't necessarily need the feet part, or if you have the feet, the actual bottom of the feet parts and the hand parts. So there, there's Scattershot in vehicle mode. So, um, let me grab some bots and we'll do some comparisons. All right, here's some comparisons uh, with other or robot modes. So, uh, you can see how he kind of scales with, with Scorponok here. 
uh, the Kingdom Scorponok. So he's really small. At, at, well, he makes Kingdom Scorponok look really small. Uh, he's taller than Ramjet. But of course, G1 Jetfire uh, just towers over him because he towers over everyone. But uh, I thought it was a good comparison. You know, he, he's kind of an airplane spaceship and he's kind of an airplane spaceship. So it works. You know, at least it's two G1s together. So, yeah, let's transform him and see how he looks against um, some other airplane vehicle modes. All right, and here's how he, you know, kind of scales next to some other um, airplanes, spaceships, whatever. Um, here, here's Earthrise Ramjet. Here's G1 Jetfire. Yes, I still transform him. He's fine. Uh, and then G1 Scattershot. Thing just pops up all the time. It's awesome. Yeah. So it actually has one more mode that I want to show you how to do. Um, and I didn't know where to put this in the video, so we're going to put this here after I move these guys out of the way. So when I was a kid, and I, story time. When I was a kid, um, I would sit in our living room and I'd play with a few of my toys. And one of the things that I would do is... I had him, and I would make him into a another mode. So I would give him what I called the artillery mode. So I would, and I don't know if this is ever an official thing. So all I did was just I'd bend those down, and then fold these forward, and set him up like that. And that was my artillery mode when I was a kid. So I'd have like a different figure or something standing behind him, and you know he would he would be. You know, he would just be blasting away, and you know, of course, it's, you can, or you can, he's a little squeaky still, you know, you can do whatever you're going to do, uh, but that that's my artillery mode, and I think it's pretty cool. So, my final thoughts on Generous 1 Scattershot, um, knowing that I don't have all of the rest of the combiners to make, uh, I think it's Computron. Um, I love this dude. He's cool. I'll never understand what Hasbro was thinking putting this on here, though. Like, I feel like... How did you get away with that? I mean... What were you thinking? I mean, I guess he's always ready for battle, but... Yeah. He can get him, he can get him low, he can get him high... It's just a really strange feature to have on a bot mode. So, yeah, that part confuses me. All right. If you've made it this far in the video and you didn't get the joke, I apologize for you now. So before I finish, here is Scattershot in his actual robot mode. The cannon goes up the back. There's a, a notch in his back so that the landing gear will clear. So it sits pretty good on his back. His feet are so big it doesn't make it front heavy at all. Um, again, missing most of the stickers, which would have given away some of the details. I still love this little gun here. I mean, he's, he's one of my favorite G1 figures. Uh, characters I can't say much about because it's hard to remember some of the old shows. And going back and watching G1 now is... It's hard to do sometimes, but, uh, so this is G1 Scattershot's actual robot mode. If, uh, you're, if you made it to the end of this video and you thought that I was not kidding, here you go. It was a joke. If, uh, you know somebody who watched the video and they can't believe all the mistakes I made or you see all the comments of, oh my God, what are you doing? Um, please, please go tell them to watch to the end of the video. <laughs> So, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and YouTube, 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 I'm out.